Our third case of African countries that lie astride the transition zone between wet and dry is the country of Mali, a landlocked country in West Africa that is already familiar to you because it is the location of Timbuktu, that ancient 14th century capital and center of trade and scholarship in West Africa that lies on the Niger River downstream from the capital of Mali in Bamako, as illustrated in this slide. A vegetation map of Mali shows the division of the country between a relatively dry north, much of which goes into the Sahara Desert all the way to the border with Algeria, and a wet, well-watered south. Again, as in the case of Nigeria and Sudan, the north is dominated by light-skinned nomadic pastoralists, in this case some Arabs, but especially a minority group called the Tuaregs, who are the major group occupying northern Mali. The bulk of the population, however, over 90 percent, are black Africans engaged primarily in agriculture who live in the well-watered south and in particular in the capital of Bamako. In 2012, a coup against the government in, ba in Bamako gave the Tuaregs an opportunity to do what they had long sought to do, which is declare their independence for the state of Azawad in the north. Their Independence, however, coincided with the end of the Gaddafi regime in Libya and the flight of many former Libyan mercenary soldiers along with their weapons into the Sahara Desert. So in very short order, the Tuaregs, after having announced their independence, were overthrown and overwhelmed by forces from central North Africa, well-armed soldiers from the former Libyan army who now, who now formed radical groups that related to Al-Qaeda that took over northern Mali and proceeded to occupy the cities on the Niger River, including Timbuktu, and imposing, as they have elsewhere, a rigid Sharia law and oppression of the otherwise moderate Islamic Mali majority. This led to enormous destruction of life in the cities occupied uh, by the Al-Qaeda and other radical units, including, I should say, members of Boko Haram from neighboring Nigeria. A, an effort that the Mali army was unable to repulse. The Malian army itself is very weak and was not able to oust the radicals who took control of those cities on the upper Niger. This ended only with the intervention in the early 2013 by French forces who liberated the cities of Bamako, Gao, and other previously occupied cities and drove the Islamic rebels back into northern Mali. At the same time, there has been an effort to recruit soldiers from the African Union, from neighboring African countries, who in the long run could provide security and stability for the still fragile and unresolved political conflict in Mali. All three of these cases, Nigeria, Sudan, and Mali, illustrate the dominance of physical geography in the shape of politics, economics, and military affairs in the countries of Nigeria, Sudan, and Mali.